Well, it's been less than a month since a devastating fire ripped through a community kitchen in Oak Creek. 20 small business owners displaced by that fire. Our Taylor Lumpkin checked in with one business getting back on its feet thanks to the help of one local church. It's a sound that brings music to personal chef Katie Klinert's ears. Pots and pans clanging together and timers going off. All sounds signifying one thing. We're back in business. It's been almost three weeks since nearly 20 business owners were displaced following a fire that broke out at the Common Cookhouse in Oak Creek. A space where food truck owners, bakers, cooks and more called home for their small businesses. It was the worst fire I'd ever seen. Clinert runs Katie's Cooking Tonight. It's a meal prep and in-home personal chef service and one of the businesses impacted by the fire. After weeks of looking for another space, Clinert found a great spot. With help from a local health inspector, Clinert was put in touch with members of St. Stephen's Catholic Church in Oak Creek. The church opened its kitchen to Clinert and her team. The inspector came out and licensed us last week, so we got new license, we got new insurance issued on Friday. It's awesome. It's exciting to get back in here. While she's happy to be back doing what she loves, Clinert says the space is temporary. She says she already has another space at Sabrosa's Cafe and Gallery, but has to wait for the licensing to go through and says she's grateful for all the support. There is there is no way that we'd be here today without the community support that we've had. In Oak Creek, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.